Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So I know, right, a bit of a, you know, the update this morning's more just pushed towards Exodus, but we've got some good news this morning and it seems we need all the good news we can get at the moment. And the reason why I say that is, is because all good news is further betterment and movement forward for this movement. And it really is as simple as that. It, when it comes down to bite and crunch, the more positive movements we make, the more people we will attract and the more positive things look from the outside, meaning that we look more attractive, creating the law of attraction, which we all know is a very strong um, thing in cryptocurrency. So um, let's dive straight over to the um, label of this video, which is KuCoin are going to be supporting, it seems, the 1.2% 1.2%. Oh, it's going to take a few videos to get out of this one, guys. So the 0.2% burn tax, okay? <clears throat> and I thought this might start happening, that a lot of the CEXs are now going to come out saying, you know, oh, yeah, we, we support it. We support it. We're going to do it. We're going to support the 0.2% burn tax. And the thing is with this announcement, once again, is... Sorry about the noise. The cat is messing around. Hap. I'm trying to record a video. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Okay. So, <clears throat> they've done this before. And this is the way I like to say it to people is we've been hurt once and we've been hurt before. Now, there's a lot of exchanges that did come out, jump on the news last time and say, no, oh, we're going to be doing the 1.2% burn tax. But... We just lack information from them. And what I believe is, is it's not fair on us as a community to be treated like this by a CEX. Like we deserve actual updates, not an update when they feel like it. Like when they feel like, oh, you know, well, we should probably put an update out because they're losing interest in us. No, give us updates because we need updates. Um, So let's read it for exactly what it is. It is noted that the Terra Classic LUNC... LUNC C community has passed proposal 5234, which will lower the tax burn of Terra Classic network to 0 0.2. Therefore, KuCoin will support the tax burn deduction of Terra Classic and Terra Classic USTC tokens when the 0 0.2 tax burn goes live at the Terra Classic block height. So it's a bit weird, really, because they don't say we're going to be supporting it on withdrawals, deposits, um, all transactions. It's just sort of like, yeah, well, we're supporting it. Okay, good. Well, so tell us more. Don't just... Like, this needs to stop. Like, this seriously needs to stop. I don't mind if they do this to other communities, but we're not idiots. Why are we therefore being treated as such? And look at it. Like, what kind of announcement is that? Come on, at least give us proper info. And honestly, it's not, like I said, it's not fair. I've seen this and thought to myself, you know, this is just not fair. Why should they get to gain all the glory when they're not actually doing anything? They've opened a validating node to delegate their own coins to collect their own rewards. So, you know, at what point do they get off the bus, you know, and wave goodbye? Because in my opinion, from where I'm sitting, this is all just, you know, next, you know, next coin to jump on. You know, our oh, next bit of news to jump on. Do they really care about our community? And these are the questions we need to start to ask ourselves. So really do think before you go out and start saying to everyone, you know, oh, they're supporting it. I think KuCoin need to give us a better explanation. But what? So what are you supporting it on? Like, that is my biggest question right now. What are you supporting it on? Because, you know, the wording could just be put down to like, you support what we've done. Not that you're implementing it. So, mm, very interesting. So let's go over to Terra Station. Let's take a look at the parameter change proposal 6082. This has been put together by Classy Crypto and it was coded by Edward Kim. It's not hard to code one of these ones. Um, I'm going to do a video where you can actually get all of this stuff from and then you can just change the minimum deposit amount, the denom, and um, do it yourself if you need to. So, this proposal in itself, without going too deep into it, is just to raise the fee to put a proposal up to 1 million. Now, this can be seen as both pros and cons because 1 million Luna Classic coins is a lot of coins to 
put into a proposal for it possibly to get no vetoed and you won't get your million coins back. So I'm kind of stuck between the two. As to the fake proposal side of things, this is kind of why we have the show all. Um, and the reason why it says no vote proposals voting in this period is because of the simple fact they've not become whitelisted because there's no Agora text. They've not followed the correct procedure and... <clears throat> For every proposal that goes up, three more go up as well. And it's just weird. I don't understand why people are doing it. Like people are like, it's a scam, it's a scam. But what are they achieving? At what part of this is there anything in here that allows the person to scam us? It's a text proposal there. So then if we go to this one, text proposal. But then if you look at classy cryptos, it's a parameter change. So therefore, you know, just... Be careful what you're looking at when you click on show all. Eventually, one of us will talk about the proposal on show all, and then it will likely get put into this if they follow the correct procedure, of course. But if they haven't, I don't think it will get whitelisted. So my honest opinion is we should do something about all these silly proposals going up, but I don't think raising the minimum deposits kind of going to fix that. And I think that's why the show all button is there to start with to show you guys you know that these are all the proposals that are out there these are the ones that are whitelisted so now moving over to not terra station because they don't even measure epochs um next epoch lands today at 1 34 pm that means the 0.2 percent burn tax goes live today at 1 34 pm on the dot on the block and you've got the countdown there and that's what epochs are for by the way guys for any time there's a parameter change that parameter change will pretty much land on the epoch and that's what you need to know about that so this burn tax reduction in itself could spur on a whole new move upwards and it could bring us to higher highs higher lows and keep on pushing us upwards it could incentivize more people to come back it could incentivize more people to delegate their coins and it just could incentivize more movement overall in the broader perspective of things so guys let me know what you think about kucoin let me know what you think is their tactic what are they playing at do we is this sufficient what do you guys think let me know and um i'll check the comments out and i'll catch you in the next one stay safe out there guys okay guys beware of scammers beware of doppelgangers beware of anybody pretending to be me and i'll catch you in the next one Shoop.